All right, so this video I'm going to show you how to graph a logarithmic function uh, by plotting points. All right, so we have f of x is equal to the log of x with base 2. All right, so what we're going to do here is we're going to make an xy table. So there's my xy table and I need to choose values of x. Well, you want to you want to try to choose values um, that you can evaluate. So in other words, here I'll, I'm going to choose 1. Now, why do I choose the number 1? Well, anytime you take the log of 1, no matter what the base is, your answer is 0. Okay? So that's an easy one to to choose. All right, the next one, I'm going to choose 2, I'm going to choose 4, and then I'm going to choose 1 half, and I'm going to choose 1 fourth. All right, so, so let me explain why. All right, so you should know how to, if you're at this point in algebra, you should know how to evaluate logarithms without using a calculator. You should, you should know that this rule here, the log of b to the x with base b is equal to x. In other words, if the base of the log and the base of the exponent, if those two are the same, your answer is your exponent. Well, you can see if I plug 2 in here, that 2 and that 2 is the same, my answer would be 1, my exponent. Okay. If I plug 4 in for x. Well, 4 and 2 are not the same, but 4 can be written as 2 squared. You see that? And the same thing with 1 half. Okay? Can I rewrite 1 half as 2 raised to a power? Yeah? 1 half is what? 2 to the negative 1. See if you move the 2 up? And can I rewrite the 1 fourth as 2 raised to a power? Well, 1 fourth is what? 1 over 2 squared. And then if I move that across the fraction bar, it changes the sign of my exponent. So that's 2 to the negative 2. So you can see all these numbers that I chose can be written as 2 raised to a power. And the reason I did that is because the base of my log is 2. Okay. Now, <clears throat> let me say this. Let's suppose we had log base 3. Then I would choose what? 1, 3, 9, 1 third, 1 ninth. Okay? See, I'm always choosing 1. Well, except if I have like x minus 1 or x plus 1, but that's another video. I'll have I'll have more than one video and they'll I'll try to hit each each scenario scenario that you'll come across so check them all out so if the ba if it was log base 7 I would choose 1 7 49 1 over 7 1 over 49 okay so hopefully you're getting the idea of how to choose the numbers so what I'm gonna do here just real quick it's I'm gonna Go ahead and plug all these in and evaluate them. So the log of 1, base 2, well, we know that's 0. Uh, f of 2, that's the log of 2 with base 2. Well, that 2 and that 2 is the same. My exponents, it's understood of 1, so that's 1. And then we have f of 4, that's log base 2 of 4. Okay, but I'm running out of room over here, so, but remember, 4 is equal to 2 squared, so I'm going to, instead of writing the 4, I'll change that to 2 squared. That 2 and this 2 is the same, so my answer is my exponent, which is 2. And then I have f of 1 half, so that's the log base 2. Now remember, one half, if I move this up, that's two to the negative one. So that's two to the negative one. 
my bases here are the same, so my answer is my exponent, negative 1. So that's negative 1. And then I've got f of 1 fourth, so that's the log base 2. Now remember, 1 fourth, that's 1 over 2 squared. I'm going to move this up into the numerator, and that becomes 2 to the negative 2. So that's 2 to the negative 2. So this 2 and this 2 are the same, so my answer is my exponent, which is negative 2. Now normally I would show all these steps, you know, just keep going across, but I'm running out of room, so that's why I'm doing it over here. All right, so now we have our points. So let's plot them. So I'm going to plot the point 1, 0, uh, 2, 1, so over 2, up 1. 4, 2, so over 4, up 2, Whoop. See, 1, 2, 3, yeah. and then 1 half, negative 1, so that's about halfway in between, and I go down 1, and then 1 fourth, negative 2, so 1 fourth, that's a little closer to the axis here, and y is negative 2, and so my graph is going to look something like this. All right. Now, the one thing that you've got to be careful of when you're drawing the graph of a logarithmic function, you see how I drew it? You cannot draw it like this. It's not going to cross that y-axis. Okay? Because remember, and notice we didn't pick any negative values because you can't take the log of a negative number. If you got your calculator with you, try plugging in, try typing in the log of negative 2 into your calculator. And then after that, try putting in the log of 0 into your calculator. You'll get a domain error or some kind of error message on your calculator depending on which one you have because you can't take the log of those numbers. Alright, so I, I hope the video helped. Check out the other ones that I have. They're going to be different bases and then I'll have like a number subtracted or added here to the X. So check them out and hope the video helped. Give me a like, share, and subscribe. And thanks for watching.